CB radio skip well as a kid I had no idea what skip was I knew it was a thing because all of a sudden you go from speaking to your mate three or four blocks away to speaking to somebody in Scotland or Wales so skips always been around but it's only just recently I've started to really understand what skip is and how it works so underneath my name you'll see it says Luke radio unexpert that's a word I invented to describe myself. It means I'm not an expert. It means I'm not a professional. And I couldn't call myself an amateur, now could I? A radio amateur. So I am a radio unexpert. That means my understanding of skip and the way I explain skip will be very much in layman's terms. A lot of people watching this video will have a much more in-depth understanding of skip if that's you, please put it in the comments below so people can be properly educated about CB Radio Skip. OK, so to start to explain Skip, I'm going to draw a picture for you. And this picture will illustrate line of sight. Line of sight is very important in radio. Okay, so here over this side we have Bob. Bob has a two way radio, and on this side we have Kevin, and Kevin also has a two way radio. Bob is on top of a hill, Kevin is on top of a hill. There's nothing in between them. That means they have a clear line of sight to and from each other. That means that radio signal can travel unimpeded for many 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 miles and even with a handheld radio you could expect to get 25 30 40 plus miles because you have a clear line of sight what would happen though if somebody put a pre-drawn building a huge block of flats in between Kevin and Bob. Well, Kevin and Bob, Bob no longer have a clear line of sight. So therefore, their range is going to be drastically reduced or potentially be taken out completely. And Bob and Kevin can no longer talk to each other at all. The more obstacles in the way, the more that line of sight is broken down the less distance you will be able to cover. In this example of nowhere near as well drawn men, we have Phil. Bob is back again. And we've got Kevin. Kevin and Bob are much further away from each other than Bob and Phil are. However, in between Bob and Phil is that pesky tower block again. So Bob finds himself unable to speak to Phil, who is, say, five miles away, yet he can speak to Kevin, who is 35, 40 plus miles away. So that's the principles of line of sight. Line of sight is also affected by the curvature of the earth because the earth is round, like a ball. And before we go any further, I am a conspiracy theorist. Uh, did a weather balloon land in Roswell in 1947? Absolutely not. Is there Sasquatch and Bigfoot? Are there pumas and panthers prowling the English countryside? Probably. Is there a cabal of reptilian creatures planning to create a new world order and dominate the earth in some kind of fascist state? Quite possibly. Is the earth flat? Well, clearly not. That conspiracy theory is absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry if there's any 
flat earthers watching but the earth is most definitely a globe so if for example you had frank with his radio down here and you had hank with his radio in a completely different country let's say the uk and the usa there is no line of sight because it would involve traveling through the planet earth so the uk can't speak to the usa however sometimes that isn't the case and they can speak to each other because way up here is a mysterious thing called the ion sphere again i'm sure someone in the comments will be able to it will be able to tell you exactly what the ion sphere is but it's there anyway it's part of our atmosphere and what can sometimes happen when we're lucky is the radio signal that we send out from our radio travels up into the ion sphere and sometimes it just stops there nothing happens with it but other times like a bouncy ball being bounced on a ceiling the ion sphere bounces that signal back down to another part of the planet in this case from the united kingdom to the united states of america this is skip and what it means for the chap in the uk i can't remember his name now was it frank yes frank what it means for frank in the uk is although frank can now speak to hank in the united states thanks to the skip he could still find himself not able to speak to terry his friend in the uk 20 miles away because in between them is a big building or trees with heavy leaf cover that has broken his line of sight. Okay, so that's my very simple layman's term explanation of skip. Um, it's not dumbed down because I'm dumbing it down for you guys. That is genuinely the extent of my knowledge. That's as far as my knowledge goes. If you check the comments in the video, there's generally some very, very knowledgeable um, chaps that do watch these videos. So I'm sure they could probably give you a far more in-depth explanation of skip than myself. What we're going to do now is we're going to, I pre-recorded some videos yesterday because the skip was coming in whilst I was driving back from work. Um, so that was in my car with my CRT SS9900 and my Thunderpole uh, antenna on a mag mount. Now this isn't the best example of skip. Um, it is skip, um, but it is sometimes a lot clearer than it was coming across yesterday. But anyway, let's have a listen to some skip.
sir, but you're uh, solid S9 and top of the pile here in North Florida, USF. So that was all on lower sideband, but on my way back from Kent, um, I switched my radio to the AM mode, where I was again able to pick up some skip from the United States. I hear Coast to Canada, you got me, calling from England. Hello from Voice 167, uh, good afternoon sir. Uh, you're making a good trip over here to the uh, east coast of Canada today, Roger. Hey Roger, Roger, you're having a good trip today my brother, you're doing a really good trip here today. I got you coming in here again about a 5, 9, plus 10, even taking up to a plus 20 here. Uh, making a really good trip here, you got Chris. First name is Chris, Charlie Hotel, Romeo, India, Sierra. Okay guys, so that's CB Radio Skip. So sometimes it does come across a lot clearer than it did yesterday. But even with yesterday's conditions, we were still able to pick out five or six different states uh, within America. And Canada um, also obviously came over as well. So Skip's great fun. It just You don't know when it's going to come. It just rolls in. And it stays for as long as he wants to stay and then disappears. So before we finish this video, if you're an old CB radio user or you've always fancied CB radio, get into the hobby. It's a very, very cheap hobby. You could be set up with some really quite good equipment for as little as £150. Even if you've got an old 4 watt radio in a loft, it will still work. It will work just as well. Um, as last time you had it out 20, 25, 30 years ago. Get that CB radio out, key up, see if anyone in your local area is still around and you'll be surprised there probably will still be people on. <laughs> 